Hi, I'm Victor from Divimundo.com and today I'm going to show you my five favorite websites with free photos. And together they contain over 10 million high quality images with the do whatever you want license. So let's start with number one. Unsplash, the undisputed champion. With over 2 million free high resolution photos from over 200,000 photographers, Unsplash is the creme de la creme of free stock photo websites. It was actually founded as a Tumblr blog back in 2013, but now they have grown into the industry leading free photo community. Every photo is hand selected and only top notch professional photographs are accepted. The photos are often artistic and a bit fancy. If we look at the top right corner, we can download the photo for free without logging in. We could also click this little uh, arrow down and then we can choose the size. And this is really nice if you're going to use it on your website. Another nice feature is that you can see the views and the downloads in the bottom left corner. That will give you an idea of how popular this image is. Another nice thing with Unsplash is that there's a WordPress plugin called Instant Images where you can upload Unsplash images directly from your WordPress dashboard with one click. So what are the disadvantages with Unsplash? It's very popular and that means that you will see the same pictures over and over again on different websites. For example, this one has more than 2 million views and over 12,000 downloads. So if you use Unsplash images, you will probably see the same images on your competitors' websites. Another thing is that you can only download photos here. There are no illustrations, icons or videos. There are also limited sizing options. When I click this one, I can use small, medium, large or the original size, but I can't type my own max width when I download. But with that said, Unsplash is a beautiful and nice place for getting free photos for your website. Pixels. Pexel's mission can be described in two words, empowering creators. They are committed to provide a diverse selection of free photos by including LGBTQ plus and people of different color and background. With over 3 million free images, you are likely to find the photos you are looking for. Pexel offers smart filtering like orientation where you can choose from horizontal, vertical and square. Another nice feature is that you can use a custom size on top of the default sizes. They also have a filter for size and color. In addition to all the photos, you can also download videos. So are there any downside to using Pexels? Well, the activist approach might annoy some people. Also, there are no illustrations or icons, just photos and videos available. Pixabay, the flea market of free stock photos. If the name Pixabay makes you think about a shady place where everyone was allowed to share everything, you're not completely wrong. Wikipedia let us know that the overall quality of the photos on the service has been described as mediocre for the most part and variable but covering a wide range of subjects. With that said, Pixabay is a good place to find rough diamonds and more realistic photos. The fact that all photos are not super stylish could actually be an advantage if you are looking for more realistic photos. And you're not just left with photos, you have illustrations, vectors, videos, music and even sound effects. The name Pixabay also brings some nostalgia, especially for me as a Swede. So the disadvantages. The uneven quality could be a disadvantage. Sometimes it feels like you are at the flea market and looking at someone's old photo albums. And there are no custom sizing options when you download. Elegant Themes. The web design machine. Even though Elegant Themes isn't a pure stock photo website, they deserve an honorable mention. With over 800 pre-made web designs, their free photo library is growing rapidly. So each week, 
Elegant Themes release a new layout pack with custom photos and icons included. And if you use the Divi theme for WordPress, you can simply import the layouts together with all the images and illustrations to your WordPress media library with one click. But even if you're not a Divi user, you can use these photos and illustrations for free. In the bottom of every layout post, you can download the full res image resources with no licensing restrictions. And from there, I can access all the photos and icons used in the layout. But if you are using Divi in WordPress, you don't need to mess around with any zip files. You can simply just import the layout and the images with one click from the Divi layout library. So if I click, for example, let's go on with the pet theme here, an animal shelter landing page. I can choose the page that I want to import. So let's have the landing page there and I can click use this layout. And now the complete layout with all the photos and animation is imported to your website and you can find the images in your media library in WordPress. So here you can find unique photos that's not found on the big stock photo websites. Icons and illustrations are included and you can also import them together with professional WordPress layouts with one click. A disadvantage is that it's hard to search and find for images. You have to browse the blog like this. And uh, there's also a small collection of photos compared to the big stock photo websites. I have no idea how to pronounce this, so I'll just say it. Gratisography, the rebel of free stock photo. When you enter the world of gratisography, there is no doubt that you're in for a different ride. The focus is on quirky and whimsical photos. Or in their own words, different is what we do best. The focus is on images that you just won't find anywhere else on traditional, and some might say boring, corporate stock photo websites. Here you'll find some goofy photos for hipsters and the generation Y, Z and A. It also provides vector images and they are goofy as well. So one thing that bothers me a bit with this site is that it's cluttered with Shutterstock ads. So you really have to make an effort to not click in the wrong place. Also, there are no sizing options at all when you download a photo. Okay, that's all for today. I would just like to end with a few words about the do whatever you want license. And uh, in general, it means that you can download the photos for free. You don't need permission and you can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. And you do not need to credit the photographer or the website where you downloaded the photo, even if that's appreciated, of course, if you do. Then there are a few restrictions, things that you are not allowed to do. And you are not allowed to sell unaltered versions of these photos you are not allowed to upload them to competing stock photo websites. You are not allowed to, to imply that people in the photos endorse your product or brand. And uh, you are not allowed to portray the people if they are identifiable in the photos in a bad or offensive way. So more or less common sense, I would say. So that's all for today. Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.